there, future coding pros. Welcome back to the channel. So you've just started your coding journey, and let me guess, you're already tired of hitting that refresh button every time you tweak a line of code? Don't worry, you're not alone. We've all been there, sipping our coffee while endlessly reloading the browser, wondering if there's a better way. Well, today I've got some good news. We're going to set up a little magic trick in Visual Studio Code called Live Server. It's like having your assistant that automatically shows your changes without even lifting a finger. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Jasmine, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro. Fast. <laughs> Initially, open the project directories inside the Visual Studio Code. The files and folder contents may vary according to the project, and from here you can access, read, and modify them. Now, if you want to execute this HTML file, then you have to find this file in the File Explorer and then open it in your desired or default browser by double-clicking on it, just like I have opened by project on Google Chrome browser. Now, if I head back to the Visual Studio Code, do some modifications in my code, and move into the browser to see the applied changes, there, you'll notice that no changes applied because to make the changes apply, you have to refresh or reload the file each time to get the latest version of your code. Now, if you reload, you'll get the latest version. This surely takes a lot of time, and that's why we are going to use the Live Server extension. To install this extension, open the Extension window and search for the Live Server in the search bar. Open the first extension and ensure that it is the original one by checking the author's name, rating, and downloads. On this page, you'll get a quick How to Use Guide, Features, Current or Previous Version Details, and many more. Moreover, you can retrieve the commands and settings options by visiting the feature contribution. In a couple of seconds, the installation is completed and the success message will appear. Now close this extension window and you'll notice that the Go Live has now appeared and by using it, you can run the current file on the live server. But we'll first select the file that we want to run and then right click on that file to open options and from there choose the first one saying, open with live server. After hitting the Go Live button, status is modified to Starting, and once the server is started, it is changed to Port 5500, and this server page will open automatically on your browser. Next, head back to the VS Code and do some modifications in the code, just like I am editing the heading text. Now move to the already running Live Server website, and you'll see that this time changes are applied automatically without the need of reloading the page. Now to terminate the live server, click on the port 5500 button. This makes its status change to disposing, and soon the go live button will appear along with the confirmation message regarding the termination of the server. Now, when you revisit the site and reload the page, you'll see a site can't be reached message showcasing the termination of the live server. As a bonus section, if you want to remove this extension, you need to search for Live again in the extension search bar. Open the first one that you installed previously, and this time, select the Disable button to temporarily disable its functionality in VS Code. This will only disable the extension without deleting or uninstalling it and its files. If you want to uninstall it permanently, select the Uninstall button. After uninstalling, click on the Reload Required option to completely remove the extension. Once it's uninstalled, you'll notice that the Go Live button and the Open with Live Server option are no longer available. And there you have it, coding champs. You've now got Live Server up and running in Visual Studio Code, and no more endless refreshing for you. Your web projects just got a serious upgrade, and you can focus on what matters. Writing that awesome code. If you enjoyed this little productivity boost, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on more beginner-friendly tips and tricks. Do you have questions or ideas for what you'd like to see next? Drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out. Until next time, keep experimenting, stay curious, and happy coding! Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.